Holy Spirit, we ask that you give us the courage of Philip who took the time to share his faith with a curious stranger. Help us to love one another, for when we do so, we are loving you. We dare to ask you to help us love more fervently, to love when love is hard to do, and to remember that when we love, it is only because you first loved us. Help us to make room for one more. Amen. Friends, we now move into a time of Holy Communion. You can either pause this video now and go to your kitchen and get some bread or crackers, juice, wine, or water, or you can come to our church parking lot between 1130 and 1230 to receive a prepackaged communion. Friends, join me in our communion ritual liturgy now. Gracious God, we lift our hearts to you and give thanks to you. Blessed are you, O God, who with your word and Holy Spirit created all things and called them good. In Jesus Christ, your word became flesh and dwelt among us. Through Jesus' suffering and death, you took upon yourself our sin and death and destroyed their power forever. You raised from the dead this same Jesus who now reigns with you in glory and poured upon us your Holy Spirit making us the people of your new covenant. On the night before meeting with death, Jesus took the bread and he gave thanks to you. And then he broke the bread and he gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And when the supper was over, Jesus took the cup and gave thanks to you and then gave it to the, the, gave it to the disciples and said, Drink from this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant poured out for you and for the many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. And so, in remembrance of these, your mighty acts in Jesus Christ, we offer ourselves in praise and thanksgiving as a holy and living sacrifice in union with Christ's offering for us. Pour out your Holy Spirit on us gathered in our homes, wherever we may be watching. And on these gifts, the gifts of prepackaged communion, the gifts of the elements that we have in our own homes, that in the breaking of this bread and the drinking of this juice, we may know the presence of the living Christ and be renewed as the body of Christ for the world, redeemed by Christ's blood until Christ comes again in final victory and we feast at your table forever. Through Christ, with Christ, in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, almighty God, now and forever. Amen. Friends, all are welcome to this table. You may now partake in your elements at home, or I will see you a bit later at the church to share in this ritual of grace. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen.